And remember, on election day, please vote Mariko Hiodo. What is that? A calling card? Whoa, it's real. What's going on? Mariko Hyoto, the false empress with a frozen heart. You are a cold manipulator who treats people as tools to be discarded. We find this unforgivable and will end your reign of abuse. In fact, we will take back the desires you stole this very night. This is... They say they're going to steal my desires? What a bold-faced lie! Those desires are mine, and mine alone! As long as I'm the monarch, I won't let anyone stop me! Very well. I was just beginning to work up an appetite. I wonder what you'll taste like. Perhaps I should gobble you up and find out! Why are you just standing there? Take these wretched things down! Wait for us, Mari-san. It'll all be over soon. Change Mari-san's heart. All right, what's next? Oh, this is. Yoda's distorted form. What do you people want? You and Beth. Best not get in my way. Oh, oh, I'm almost there. A few more votes and I'll win re-election. This is wrong, Mari-san. Those votes you gathered by twisting the people's hearts are worthless. And if you don't stop your tyranny, your staff will collapse one by one. I get why it's hard for you to trust people, but you still have to treat them with decency. Ah! You shut your impudent mouth! I've done nothing wrong! I will wring out every ounce of corruption from my staff by working them into the ground! I'll silence all charlatans who betray me! And I will consume every last vote in the city! Whether these people agree with me or not, only then can I build a safe haven, a radiant snow city that sparkles like winter. Listen to him. When you take
take away someone's desire, you rob them of their agency, the ability to make their own decisions. So what good does it do to turn your loyal citizens into mindless drones? Isn't it better to let them arrive at their own conclusions? To follow their own hearts? How dare you lecture me! Good job, Muir. You tell her. Mari-san, say goodbye to the countless desires you stole. Because Beauty Thief and the Phantom Thieves are about to take them back. Honestly, they're all in my way. This is the last straw. You've made me so very hungry. time and the main course. Doing is wrong, so we'll be taking those desires back. Shut your pretty little mouth! What would you know? I will consume all who oppose me, no matter who they are! You either eat or be eaten! Whoa, what's with all the food? Persona. I kind of want some. <laughs> Persona! Grab it, Seth! Now you have the time to cut your face! Here she comes! Yeah. 
who tried to set you up. Even the girl who died in the accident. <gasps> Each of these things grieved you, and in order to make a city where none of it could reoccur, you took action as you saw fit. Am I right? The mayor. I know very well that little girl's death was ultimately my fault. But my staff betrayed me, all for their insatiable greed. I thought I could leave that awful position behind. Unfortunately, it wasn't as simple as that. Had I gone, I'd only be replaced by greedy scum. That's why I never stepped down. In this world, it's either eat or be eaten. And with circumstances so cruel, I decided I'd be the one doing the eating. Even if every last one of my votes were false, at least I could use them to make the world a better place. But if I was replaced as mayor, who would be there to honor that little girl's memory? An innocent girl lost her life. Yet I could do nothing to stop the evil still afoot! It's not too late to set this right. First, you must tell the people everything that happened. Then can you get a fresh start, but this time on your own strength. That would be... impossible. I cooperated with those awful men to hide the truth. That way I could continue being mayor. There's nothing I can do. Stand up, Mariko Hyoda! <gasps> are you just going to stay knocked down? You are a kind and strong woman, not someone who collapses over mistakes. your head up high, because no matter how many times you fall, you can always get back up and start again. Isn't that... Yes. You said that to me a long time ago. Even if you told the people the truth about the incident, there are those who would still see the good in you. Don't let your position ruin you. Think back to what you stood for. She's right, Mayor. You can't give up. If you tell
Tell everyone your side of things. They'll listen. When my father died, I felt like my heart was going to break. But thanks to the Phantom Thieves, I was able to stand strong and move forward. That's why I know you can too. Remember the part of you that taught me to get back up, no matter how many times I fall. Yes, you're right. Thank you, Haruka. What I've done was wrong. I drove my employees to the brink and used a strange power to manipulate the votes. I was so driven by my personal agenda, I lost sight of how I originally felt. And why I ran for mayor in the first place. To make a city beloved by everyone. To give back to the home where I was raised. That's reason enough to take another step. I won't make this mistake again. I never needed this power from the start. Harucha. You've grown so much. Your father must be so happy in heaven. Mari-san. Happy? Took us quite a while. Haru, you were fantastic. It was only because you were all with me. But I do wonder if Mari-san will be okay. I'd say so. Her shadow disappeared like they always do. Yeah, your feelings definitely reached her. I'm sure her heart has changed for the better. Well, I guess this wraps up the mission. We still need to confirm that the citizens are all back to normal. It'd be nice if we could do that right away. Can we grab something to eat first? I'm hungry enough to pass out here. He has a point. Battles can't be fought on an empty stomach. The battle's already over, but still. Hey, can we try Genghis Khan? That delicious lamb barbecue dish? Ooh, that's a must in Hokkaido. What? I thought we were finally getting lobster hot pot. Since when did we decide that? Why would we when it's so damn hot out? But if you think about it, isn't Genghis Khan also sort of like hot pot? No way! Isn't it supposed to be barbecue? Well, cooking Genghis Khan does require a utensil called a Genghis Khan pot. And you can't barbecue in a pot. Ah, I figured as much. Then to lobster hot pot we go. Why? What, what even is this conversation? <laughs> hey, was that a smile just now? Yeah, straight from Sapporo, it's Beauty Thieves award-winning smile. I'm relieved too. I thought you might be weighed down by all that's happened. Indeed. She was so weighed down that she met up with our leader for a private midnight chat. Huh? Were you watching? <laughs> All right, Sophia. Find us the best Genghis Khan. 
Sun and Sephora. Hmm. Sophia? Uh, sorry. Okay, I've got it. Seems pretty normal to me. 